Hi everyone, my name is Toby and I'm a member of the Data School's DS40 cohort at the Information Lab. Um, so today in this video I'm going to show you how to create a drill down chart with parameter actions. Okay, so before we get into the tutorial, let me first show you what it is that we are going to be building. Um, so here I have loaded up Tableau Sample Superstores and we have a bar chart which shows the summer sales by category of product but if I click onto the bar you can notice that um, the user can now drill down to view sales at the sub category level for that particular category and we, we can easily flick between categories or once again view it at the category level. Now drill down charts um, are a really good way of adding interactivity to the dashboard um, allowing the user to edit the, the level of granularity of the data in view. Um, but they're also a great way of uh, reducing the amount of space used on your dashboard, i.e. improving screen real estate. Um, so how we, we go about building this is as follows. So I'm going to create a new sheet. Um, at first, what we do is just drag our category onto our columns. and sales. I'm going to put this into entire view. And here we have the, the initial bar chart as you would expect. Now the next step from here is to create a parameter for our category so that it can change when we select each bar. So if I go to the data pane here and click create parameter, let's then name this something sensible. So I'm going to call it the category parameter. Our data type is going to be a string since our category is a string. We want allowable values to be a list and we are going to add values from our category dimension. And as you see that now imports are three different types of categories but we want to add one more. Um, option. I'm going to call this none and what that allows for is us to deselect our category to bring back to the initial chart. Um, this will make a little bit more sense later on throughout the video. And then press enter and then OK. So now we have our parameter we need to create a, a calculated field um, so that we can then drag this into the view. So I'm going to create a calculated field so I'm going to call this calculated field subcategory calculated field. And you're going to want to put if the category parameter that we just created is equal to our category in the data, then return me the subcategory. Else return me nothing end. Press OK. Um, and now we're going to want to drag this into our row shelf. And now you can see that we can see furniture category at the subcategory level. So if I actually go ahead and right click our category parameter and click show, we can see that that is because our furniture category is selected. We can now go through our categories and view each category at the subcategory level. And this is why we calculate the fourth category none, so that we can deselect our subcategory effectively. Now our next step is to assign the category parameter to an action so that when we click it allows us to change the category parameter on the right hand side. So if I go into worksheet and then click actions what I'm going to want to do from here is add an action. I have additional actions here previously from previous work. I'm then going to click change parameter. And we'll call this something sensible. So I'm going to go for the subcategory parameter. Um, our source sheet is going to be the sheet that we're working on. And we want our parameter to change when we select the value. So keep that as run action on select. 
our target parameter is going to be the cate the parameter that we want to change. So we want to select category parameter. Our source field is the field that we want the category parameter to change to. So we're going to select that to be category. And we want to adjust this section in the corner to be clearing the selection. We'll set our value to none, which is, again, that fourth category that we created earlier. So now if I back out of that and click OK, our chart is now fully interactive. Now the final step is to add our dummy highlight. Now this is something I previously made. I'll attach a link in the description to a video that I've previously made on showing you how you can create a dummy highlight. Um, but what we, what we want to do is search for our dummy highlight, put that into the view. And now Tableau no longer highlights the, the bar that we select. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you found this video useful. Um, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel for, for upcoming tips.